Jan, jan, jan. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest and yet super delicious rice paper dumplings. We're going to make it Korean style by marinating our ground beef with a simple bulgogi marinade. And vegan friends use plant-based ground beef. And I'm also going to show you how to make this pancake dipping sauce that goes so well with the simple rice paper dumplings. And this is a small batch recipe of eight dumplings. And I'm also going to show you how to steam and pan fry your rice paper dumplings. 오늘의 레시피 아주 간단하고 맛있는 rice paper 만두 만들기. 오늘도 여러분들과 영어로 함께하겠습니다. I would dip it in this must-have Korean pancake dipping sauce, and then you go in for the kill like this. Hmm. Mm. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. The full ingredient list is available in the description box below as well as the Korean product links that you could order online and these rice papers that you could order as well. For our recipe today, we'll be using about 215 gram-ish of ground beef, you could certainly use ground pork, ground turkey, and plant-based ground meat. Bring two cups of water to boil, then to this we're going to add one teaspoon of salt, then we're going to add our ground beef in there. I want you to break it up, and we're going to cook this on high heat for about good three minutes. Make sure to break up your ground beef, and three minutes later, we're going to turn off our heat. Then we're going to pour our ground beef into a strainer. Then after you pour our ground beef into a strainer, shake it, then place it in another small bowl so it just hangs out and drains the excess water. And this discard, and we're going to now get our simple bulgogi marinade ready. Here I have one teaspoon of minced garlic. Then to this, we're going to add half a tablespoon of Korean soy sauce. All-purpose Korean soy sauce works. And half teaspoon of brown sugar. And I have quarter teaspoon of beef dashta, that's Korean beef bouillon powder. You could use yeondu for plant-based flavor enhancer. Then to this, we're going to add one, two tablespoons of water. Some black pepper. Then just mix it all up like so. Then we're gonna turn our heat up back up to high. And we're just gonna let this preheat for about a minute. And then a minute later, I want you to lower your heat to medium high. Then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of oil. Then we're gonna take our drained ground beef that we boiled earlier. So your frying pan should make that sizzling sound when you add your beef. If it doesn't, that means you didn't preheat your frying pan long enough. Then we're gonna add our simple bulgogi marinade like so. And we're just gonna let this quickly sizzle for like 30 seconds and it's done. Quick and fast. I will make this and also put it over my rice and have it with some like gochujang as my simple bibimbap if I'm hungry and, and I wanna eat something quick. All right, so it's been 30 seconds. So we're gonna turn off our heat and this is done. Simple and delicious. Then I want you to take ground beef bulgogi and just pour it in a bowl like so. And we're just gonna let this cool down for about five minutes. And if you see any clumps, break them up and we'll come back in five minutes. Then five minutes later, we're gonna add two tablespoons of finely minced red onions, one tablespoon of finely minced carrots, one tablespoon of finely minced green onions, scallions. Then we're gonna just mix all this up. And this is our simple mandu filling. Oh, so good. And the reason why I'm adding the vegetables now after the beef has cooled down is because I want my vegetables to still stay nice and crunchy because we're gonna be pan frying our dumplings and also steaming them. So we don't wanna overcook our vegetables by cooking them in the frying pan with our ground beef. It smells so good, it's so good. All right, let's have a quick taste test. Always taste your food as you're cooking. It's very important. Mmm, 
Wow, it's flavorful. I will put this on like scrambled eggs and have it with rice and gochujang and mix it all up. It's so good. Oh my God, this is so good. Like the flavors are growing in my mouth. <gasps> Now on to our rice paper. So if you go to a large Chinese supermarket, you're gonna see so many different sizes. So this is the smallest one that we're gonna use today, and we're gonna use this big one as well. And you could also find rectangular sizes and sizes in between, and also brown rice, rice wrappers. Ooh, that's kind of special. So you could try that too. Okay, here's tip number one when working with rice paper. You wanna use water that's about 110 degrees in Fahrenheit. Then the tip number two is instead of working on a wooden cutting board that's going to absorb the water from the rice paper, put a parchment paper on it and that'll help it so that it doesn't stick to the surface. Tip number three is your rice paper. You just want to make sure you just lightly coat it. So in goes. We just want to literally coat it with our warm water like that on both sides. Shake off the excess water and at this point it should still be firm. Okay, one tablespoon of our bulgogi mixture, and we're just gonna spread it like that on just the top half of our circle, of our rice paper circle. Then quickly, we're gonna just fold it over. So when you're working with rice paper, time is of the essence. So fold it over in half, and it's okay if I kind of messed up here, because after you fold it over in half, then we're gonna just take half a tablespoon of our mixture and just spread it on the second half of this side, like that. Then we're gonna lift this side over and fold it over and kind of make sure they all stick like that. Then we're gonna take like a quarter tablespoon of our mixture right here and put it on just half of this piece right here, like that. Then we're gonna pick this up and then fold it over like so. So it becomes a triangle. It's like easy peasy dumpling shape that everyone can make. The other important tip is you wanna have some oil ready and you wanna coat one side so that when you put it on your plate, you want the oiled side to go down because if you don't do that, later you go to pick it up, it's gonna rip apart, okay? So let's do another one together. So we made four of these using the large uh, rice paper. Set your heat to high and place your frying pan and I want you to preheat it for about a minute or two. Then once your frying pan is preheated, I want you to lower your heat to medium. Then we're gonna add a generous amount of oil. So about two tablespoons of oil, like so. Then we're gonna add our rice paper, dumplings down like that. And your frying pan should make that sizzling sound. If it doesn't, then that means you didn't preheat your frying pan long enough, which is very, very important when you're uh, pan frying anything. And at this point, make sure they don't touch, because if they do, they'll stick together. Then you just wanna make sure that the oil is equally distributed around the pan, like so. And then on medium heat, we're just gonna let these guys cook for about two to three minutes. So it's been three minutes on medium heat. Let's take a look. <gasps> look at that, that looks perfect. So you want this nice golden brown on the outer skin and look at the rice paper. Doesn't it look so crispy and delicious? <gasps> oh. Okay, so this is ready, so let's flip everything over. So we're gonna let these guys cook on the other side on medium heat for about two to three minutes. All right, so it's been three minutes, so let's take a look. Oh yeah, this is how you want the skin to look. A little bit of brown and that sizzling crispiness of the rice paper, perfectly pan fried. All right, so these guys are ready. Transfer the dumplings to a plate right away like so, and make sure to let these guys cool down for at least five minutes before you eat them. And as it's cooling down for five minutes, it's still gonna continue cooking, so the middle's gonna be nice and chewy and so yummy. Now I'm gonna show you how to make some using the small rice paper. Tuck 
to seal like that. Then just roll and roll and roll. Press the ends to seal it. Then we're gonna add some oil like that. Put it on our plate. So we made four of these mini ones. So for steaming our rice paper dumplings, I always like to place some parchment paper to protect the skin or else this is gonna rip the skin apart of the rice paper. Then what you also wanna do is make some cuts so there's room for the steam to rise and escape through the parchment paper, like that. Okay, in a large pot, bring some water to boil and make sure your steamer basket's in there and ready to go. Then we're gonna add our parchment paper on top, like that. And then quickly, we're gonna add our dumplings in. Two, ooh, it's fogging up. I'm just gonna put it, just make sure they don't touch each other in, in the steamer. And then place our lid. Your heat remains at high, and we're just gonna let the steam away for five minutes. All right, so it's been five minutes, and let's take a look. Ooh la la, look at that. All right, so these guys are ready, so we need to transfer them to a plate ASAP. And for our Korean pancake dipping sauce, this is how you make it. So to make our soy sauce dipping sauce, I have about half a tablespoon of scallions, and we're gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce, all-purpose soy sauce is fine. And to this, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of water. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of vinegar. I'm using brown rice vinegar, but any white vinegar will do. And then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of gochugaru, that's Korean red pepper flakes. And to this, we're just gonna drizzle a little bit of sesame oil, add a little bit of sesame seeds, and then we're just gonna mix it all up. And this is ready. Let's start with the pan fried, our delicious rice paper dumplings. I would dip it in this must have Korean pancake dipping sauce and then you go in for the kill, like this. Mmm. Mmm. It is chewy, the stuffing is flavorful, and then the vegetables are so crunchy, and then these red onions are releasing the sweetness in my mouth. So good, so good. And then our steamed one. Mmm. I don't know which one I like better. They're both so good. The stuffing is just so, so yummy. So yummy. 아주 쫄깃쫄깃하고 간이 딱 맞습니다. 아, 참 맛있어요. 행복합니다. I just said I'm in food heaven. I am. And then, you know, in life, I always say, if you add a little piece of kimchi and eat it together, like that. Mmm. <laughs> So good. Now make sure to check out my other video on how to make Korean pancake dipping sauces because there's also two other ways to make it that's also really, really yummy. Oh, this was really good. If you have not seen my rice paper salmon recipe, make sure to check it out. It'll be linked in the description box below. And also go to youtube.com slash modern pepper for more Korean recipes. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm gonna be uploading more rice paper recipes that you can try at home. I wanna thank you for watching today. And if you enjoyed watching today's video, I wanna kindly, kindly ask you to click on that thumbs up icon and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you and I can make more Korean dishes together as well as Korean fusion dishes. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼도 눌러주세요. 다음 영상에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다. 감사합니다. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.